budget LS factory 5 Roadster transmission selection unboxing and inspection coming right up so this transmission is from Forte's Park Connection um, he does a lot of work with Factory 5 and supplies a lot of parts. He's very knowledgeable. I've talked to him on the phone quite a bit. This is the same transmission that I used in uh, Dad's 33 Hot Rod and uh, real impressed with it. In, in this box, as I mentioned, the GM setup, TKO 500. Uh, Mike should have done the mid-shift conversion as well as cut off the tail boss. Uh, which is required to get it into the uh, Factory 5 Roadster. Let's get this box open. In addition, he talked me into um, a master cylinder kit which is an upgrade to uh, what Factory 5 provides. Well, there she is. Let's take a look. Yeah, so it looks like the mid shift was done. This is a cover plate and this is where the shifter goes. And that's gonna be, looks like right here. Yeah, really nice, really nice. Yeah, because in the Roadster, this transmission <clears throat> sits so far back, uh, you'll see a lot of authentic looking ones have that, that shifter that comes up at an angle, but I hear that that's odd. And I just wanted a more traditional uh, shifter. And that's, that's gonna be really nice. That is a nice unit there. A lot of grease in there. Got some directions and some hardware. Fantastic. Pleased about that. And I'm pleased that he did this at no extra charge, moving it from the standard position to the mid shift. Really nice. Also, as you can see that this tail boss has been cut off here to make room uh, to get it in the Roadster. Well, I don't see that pilot bearing anywhere. So if we turn it around. There's the fill plug, drain plug. Um, there's the ID tag. ID tag, part number, serial number. Here's the uh, speed sensor right there. Come around. Here's our neutral safety, neutral safety switch. And then that's the reverse, Ooh. reverse light switch right there. It's gonna be really nice. Woo. Yeah, look at that. Really nice. Um, you know, that's a dash two line from the master to the slave cylinder. Really nice that he does that. There's some stickers. My kids will love these. And that's the, uh, yeah, that's the master, master cylinder right there. Reservoirs, two reservoirs, huh? I'm thinking the slave cylinder is in the next box. Let's check it out. I'm gonna leave those out. Let's check out. Let's check out this clutch. We got an LS flywheel and clutch kit, bolts and pilot.
Well, there's that pilot bearing. It's not actually a bearing. It's just a sleeve, but it's radius like it should be for GM. But uh, I may upgrade that to actual bearings. Yeah. Boy, it looks really nice. Looks really nice. Yeah. Really nice. Yeah, really nice. ARP bolts. Now yeah, look at that dust cover. Really nice. Bolt kit for bell housing. Let's check the quality on these. Yeah. yeah. Really nice. Quality stuff. Looks like a pilot bearing there. No, I guess not. Oh. Well, that's a throw out, throw out bearing there. Timkin. Nah, looks like breather. No. There's the rear yoke. That should be 31 spline. Well, there it is. Well, there's the pilot bearing that I want. And it is radius for GM. So I got that going for me. Instead of that stock one. I'll give you a detailed view of that. Look at that. Oh, yeah, that's the cover. Clutch fork boot. So, this is really nice right here. Slave cylinder for the clutch. We got a nice machined uh, bracket to go on there. Of course, it's got parts falling off of it. That's not good. Looks like we lost a nut in here. Oh, here they are. Yep, right here. There we go, no harm done. Boy, that's really nice though, look at that. Yeah. Really like that. It's going to be nice. Nice pedal feel on the clutch. Man, all dirty. Oh man, does that look good? Woohoo! Super nice. So it looks like. So it looks like Mike had to do a little bit of a little bit of work on that clutch fork there, because I see some welding right here. I'll give you a, a, a up close detail shots of that. Yeah, Lakewood. Yeah, this looks really good. I'm very happy with this. It's gonna look really nice next to that. In fact, I'll set up the camera and put them together just to see how it looks and make sure it all matches up. Bing!